Well, after three four year terms, Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger saying goodbye to City Hall. Anastasia Anoche spoke with the outgoing mayor about his time in office and what he hopes for the city's future. You. We'll see you tomorrow. It's the end of an era at City Hall. It's a bittersweet day. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 you know, comfortable with the decision I made to not run, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, leaving behind some great, uh, great projects and great people. Today is Mayor Fred Eisenberger and the outgoing City Council's last full day in office before the new team takes over. Eisenberger is Hamilton's longest serving mayor since 2001. He was first elected in 2006 and elected again in 2014 and 2018. I only knew one way of uh, being mayor and that's giving it 150 percent and uh, I've done that right up until today and uh, I anticipate that uh, you know that the next council and the next mayor will uh, will give their their all to this community as well. But after three four-year terms Eisenberger has decided to move on. I'm very proud of the investments that are happening and what's in the queue and so I thought uh, you know maybe now it's time for somebody else to take their energy and enthusiasm and take it to the next level. Projects Eisenberger has been a part of include the Hamilton Sign, West Harbor Development, and new film studios. There's a, a film studio on the horizon. There's waterfront development uh, happening that, uh, as we speak, that is going to be a you know great uh, residential enclave along the waterfront. It's you know an overnight success, 25 years in the making. Hamilton, like other cities, has seen its ups and downs over the years, but Eisenberger says initiatives such as the LRT are things that he's very proud of. $500 million in that space for a you know, new terminal as well as expansion and traditional bus integrated with the light rail transit investment that is going to be, I think, a spectacular new opportunity for city, the city of Hamilton to not only get more employment and more, more job opportunities, but also to create a, a, a transit system that's going to stand the test of time for the next 30, 40, 50 years. While Eisenberger prepares to say goodbye and a new mayor says hello, he's confident that the city is in good hands. I think she's well positioned to do a great job. She's got the talent, the experience, uh, and certainly the know-how to, uh, to be an effective mayor, and uh, I wish her well. But he says he'll miss seeing those who have worked alongside him. Including, you know, predominantly my alpha staff, uh, you know, my work wife and other family members that uh, have been part of the, uh, the work that uh, I've been able to do have been very much a part of our collective success. As for what he's been up to since leaving office. First thing I did was uh, I got my vaccine. Uh, so uh, I encourage everyone to get out there and get their uh, flu shot and their vaccination because uh, that's the way that we're going to hopefully keep uh, our, our economy and our community as open as possible. So please. Andrew Horvath will be sworn in tomorrow, becoming the first female Hamilton mayor. Now the inaugural city council meeting will be held tomorrow at 630. Doors open at 545 at the Hamilton Convention Center. And if you can't make it, it will be posted on the city's YouTube channel afterwards.